Turn your life around. And I think the Friday, all I got on Friday at quarter to twelve to be precise, was one of such events when His Excellency, our hard-working governor, called me and asked that I see him in his office. When he called, I was actually preparing a report for him. He asked what I was doing, and I said, oh, I was preparing a report. But in my mind, when I saw the phone ring, I said to myself, okay, today I'm, I'm ready for him. Because I had my laptop in front of me, I, ha I had a notice board in my study, and I was on the files, and I said, okay, I'm ready for him. Whatever it is he wants to ask me today, I would answer promptly and swiftly. But lo and behold, he said, I should please see him in 30 minutes. And so I proceeded to government house. I also went along with two folders because I didn't know what it was for, just in case he had some things he wanted to discuss and so that I wouldn't be thrown off guard. And so when I got there, it was a totally different story. Totally different story because it was not what I expected, what I anticipated or what I received. And so from that Friday till now, it's been a totally different for year. But one thing I want to assure each and every one of you is that I will live up to the expectations. And I will definitely not betray the confidence that has been reposed in me by His Excellency, the Governor of Delta State. My First Lady, you've been ever so wonderful and loving to my wife and I. You, from the very first day, and I know that it will continue till eternity. You know, you said to me, Ma, what are you going to be call calling me? Anything you call me, Ma, will be fine by me. Mr. Speaker, sir, thank you very, very much. The State House of Assembly was also very supportive. Every time that I had to have an issue with them, and just generally, there were always words of encouragement um, from them. Mr. Chairman of our party, to our leaders, Chief, Shegu and Ross Reddy and Salu and to the Chief of Staff, thank you so very much. To my family, I thank you for all the love. To my three mothers sitting there that brought me up, um, I don't know whether I was such a bad child, but I know that they had a good time bringing, um, bringing me up. To my friends that flew in from Lagos, this morning, I thank you for taking out time of your, out of your busy schedule to, to come in here. To my former colleagues, thank you very much. To those of you that used to bully me, my first lady, some of them really used to bully me and tell, tell, tell me that I'm not a chief, I'm so young and everything. Now you're going to see who is going to do the bullying. <laughs> and to our people from Ikasao that have come here to celebrate with us, thank you very much. Thank you very much to the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education staff. Thank you for the love and support over the last four years. I thank you all for your time. God bless you all. And let's put all our hands together to ensure that we give Delta, that we have a stronger Delta within the next four years. Thank you and God bless you all.